Well then, hello, hello. I am Asher Ninja, and this is Astrogoth. And as usual, I'm fucking around with the microphone, trying to point it at myself now, rather than you know, before I press record, because you know, not the requirement to be prepared. Now, uh, we're going to attempt this battle. Don't actually really like my chances on this one, just because of the amount of artillery they have and the lack of magic that I have. Well, I don't really lack magic, so I lack flying magic. I like flying magic, because uh, I can uh, get him to get behind the area and uh, get their artillery into melee. So, I have to work out something on this one. Might actually try and get the renders <coughs> around the corner on this and see if I can get them into the back line. Uh, everything else should be artillery uh, destroy capable. But we shall see. I'll put them in the middle and I have my, full, my magma cannons on the outside. Got a minute before their reinforcements come in. They get shit pretty well, everything within range rather easily, which is good. Uh, rearrange my shooters. Uh, let's put a couple of them over that side. One over this side. Those melee infantry over there. Hold that flank. Uh, renders will put you guys way over here. So we're going to try and flank with them. <coughs> Astrograph, you can go up there. And we'll send these guys all up here. Now, so we've got three flame cannons up the back so we're going to target that one and that one to start get renders to head over here Doesn't really look like they're keen on advancing. I should hold the renders back to here a bit. Mine breakers. Uh, probably don't need to shoot at the miners with blasting charges. You two should not be firing at will. The other two can. They're just going to let us bombard their line for a bit, I guess. <coughs> that might be able to do a bit of damage to that artillery. One of their artillery units is now wiped out. That's good. Yeah, their other army is now arriving. So I'd like to be able to take out the last of these. Because I'm going to need that ammo to... destroy the cannons that are going to come from over here. Those ones, just there. See if we can bring the, that stuff back to the front. Cool.
can hit some stuff over there. Now, probably what I should do is that. That's a good disruption to their uh, advance. that now instead so they've now got cannons firing at them that's actually all right uh, rangers with great weapons we've got to let's, yeah turn you guys to get contact there oh didn't realize the renders are still up front there Oh no, we don't want them in the giant slayers either. That's bad. That would be bad. Let's see if they've still got enough time to sort that out. And yeah, see, so they're slayers as well, so that's not good for them to be fighting. Oh, pull back a little. Hitting targets probably a bit too close at the moment. Okay, they're getting shot up a bit. Let's see if we can hit those thunderers. They've done a good job there. Ooh, they got hit with some stuff. That ain't good. Uh, let's see if we can get a breath down there. Let's head back that way a little bit for me, please. I need to get both of them out of that fight. It's not going well. Okay, some of our magma cannons there are getting shot up. You can pull them a bit further this way. They're not doing much and they're getting destroyed. Let's get into that, please. Start shooting those long beards, please. Troll hammer torpedoes. Looks like we've won. Which is good and all, but we did take a, uh, a serious beating on that. Turn that way. And we'll turn all back to fire at will. Because they no longer have enemies close enough. Oh. oh no, that's our unit, that's fine. So, we still have a unit there, what the hell? And we'll get our artillery to do a bit of extra damage to them as they run away. That's gone fairly well. Not brilliantly, but... We have managed 
managed to get rid of most of that force, I think. Good, good. Good start. Kill all the things. <coughs> Minimal casualties, relatively. <laughs> Relative to them. We got rid of, like, we had to get rid of all of their slayers. We got rid of the vast bulk of their units. Uh, the, we, we let those troll hammer torpedoes do sit around and do too much damage. And the Buckman's Rangers. Uh, overall, yeah, our shooters did a nice job. Could have been better, though. Really not much left of his force now, though, which is good. Yeah, very little left of that force. Fair bit left of the other one, but... And we lost one of our... Um, they only had seven left, so... Out to say nothing left, I believe. Don't need to put him in there. I need to actually re recruit another Infernal Glaive. But we'll pull him back now. Can we recruit him here? Should be able to. No. no, I can't. That's less than good. Uh, but there should be. Is there. That's their range, 90. Yeah, see, I'd like another unit of them. Um, let's pop them into that stance. How many turns will it actually take to recruit them by this? One turn in global. Okay, well, in that case, we will move the... We'll put Athu in it. Put him in that stance. Push him back this way a bit. In that stance, because that tells us how far we can make it. And we will spend the extra money. So, yeah, 1400 gold. It's expensive, but that's right. We will be fine. Well, they've copped a fair bit of damage. Which is good. Good for us. Uh, yeah, see, that's the problem. Uh, right, uh, building upgrades. Uh, I don't really need building upgrades. What lords haven't I moved yet? Or is that all of my lords moved? Yeah, looks like all of them done. Uh, let's see then. I think I've done all of the upgrades I intend to do on my various areas most of them to take care of. Um, what would be better in Astrogoth's army would be one of those demon smiths so let's grab a demon smith uh, manipulative is good but I don't want a death one fire manipulative okay well we have a winner Probably the only thing that I think would have made this the battle a bit better and easier. Uh, we want three points there, one point there, that so that I can heal the thingamies, and a point in bolts of burning because we'll check. We'll get rid of one of the um, chaos dwarf warrior units, and we will put him in instead. Of course, that would be next turn. Do, do, do. Military convoys, how are they all going? Yep, cracking along. Cracking along. Yeah, I've got lots of armaments, so that's good. The thunder drives. The thunder drives. I really want him to take Haichi. Where I think I'll send him to. 
walls up for both of them. Cool. Well, that's going to be the end of that turn then. <coughs> uh, so he's fighting the undead as well, so that's good. Should have actually checked the situation down there, but I forgot. Uh, the dwarves are probably going to attack me down there. Oh, they've actually now got an army up in there. That's not good. Do I still have an I think I've still got an army up in the hills somewhere. But yeah, if I can send them off to get Haichi, that kind of makes it harder for them to flank us. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've got an army just up there. He's trying to get that uh, undead army. Uh, you still want military access. I'm still not going to give it to you. Break them. Let's probably start appearing somewhere soon. Got myself more powerful than Karazakarak. Karak. That's nice. Probably won't last, but... We shall see. We're slowly... I think we're slowly exhausting Karazakarak's armies. It's very, very slowly. Hadron has some armies now. So you kind of let them fester a bit too much. But I've got my plan there. He's going to head up, take Karak Ungor this turn, and then further down. Make some noise down there. Try and hit Karak Hadron. Okay, he's got a full strength army there, but. The strength of his armies are just terrible. Uh, assault units, rude. Oh, that's right. I think he's actually fairly weakened as well at the moment. Hopefully it didn't wipe anything out. He's not going to go anywhere. Oh, reinforcements have arrived. Burke Holstein. Did I put walls in the Black Fortress? I did. Right. Take them a bit to get through there, I reckon. What's the army up the top going to do? Mm, nothing, I think. Oh, okay, Pyrrhic victory. Uh, well, I'm not going to lose anything in that, so I will assist. Oh, I get some treasury out of that. Basically, that's like my convoy with its um, uh, with its artillery helping out chaos. It's one of the things that I think Drazoth did during the end times. It was helping um, Archeon take uh, Middenheim, I think it was. As part of some sort of artillery deal or something. And then when Archaon, I think, got beaten there, um, Drasos just kind of disappeared. Mysteriously. Which isn't that surprising. Not because he's a Chaos Dwarf, but because writers didn't know how to do it any other way. So they just went, mysterious. Woo! Woo, boogie, boogie, boogie. It's a bit of a cheap writing tactic, but yeah. Sometimes it's what you've got to do. Master. Uh, we want you to head towards Haichi. So 
so we can take control of that next turn. Oh, looks like they've taken Zizu as well. Cool. That's fine. Works for me. Works in my favor. Uh, yep, Astrogoth is looking a bit better, uh, but we are going to get rid of this unit of dwarves because it's low rank. And we're going to put Dark Tangyun, uh, sort of D'Artagnan, Ben Bengal in here. So working on getting that all sorted. Uh, I've already got somebody over there essentially scouting. Him over here blocked that army. We need Drazoth to get him over to the Sentinels so that he can uh, replenish there. We're going to have to try and drive these uh, undead armies out. He has basically no army there, really. But it's kind of had to lure me away from a front line. So. Come on. There it is. Alright. Get him slaughtered. That'll be it for him. Good for Lusker's army and I think what I need to do is get him heading maybe over this way because Zhao Ming arriving is not good for us but Lazchus are pretty damn good general these days level 45 Whew. he's been just cracking along with it Should I give him just the more armor? Yeah. Other things. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. He did some work over the end turn, didn't he? Uh, let's see if we can block that army. I just like doing a bit of army blocking just to disrupt enemies if possible. Get some of my heroes, some more uh, experience. Yeah, doesn't have any armies really in place, so we will just hit Karak Angor. Ooh, hello. Looks like he does have some armies in place. That's not too bad, but we'll be right. Uh, we'll occupy this outpost. I don't think that'll be too bad. Yeah, that one's damaged. That one's just all miners. Yeah, that's nothing to worry about. Uh, we're not accepting any slaves here at the moment, but maybe we should. Getting gold, that's good. Yeah, so chuck that building in. Tell it to accept slaves. We'll even upgrade it while we're here. Uh, you'll be fine the way you are. Silk Pinnacle, yep, you're good. Uh, where are we at? Over here. Ah, yes, so. They all need some leveling. Uh, but they've done that, so one more level for the. for that bit. You have. Yeah, you got most of the vital stuff, so we'll. Piercing bolts are burning. Uh, we're up to. Yeah, we're up to there, so we'll hard to hit. It doesn't, they don't get shot up too much, so. Uh, that's that done. That's not that done. Yep, so we just need a couple more levels for that one as well. That's all my level ups for the moment. There might still be more. But we're looking pretty good here. So if we can destroy this, these armies, and then smash that, and then why does Court of Lobaris have? That just seems weird. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> Uh, Castellan over here. Let's see if we can 
that. Yep, successfully slowed him. That's good. That'll keep him back. Uh, but what do we want to give him now? Uh, more health. Building upgrades. Let's not worry too much about that or the outposts. We should. No, military convoys. Still got one turn. But let's see what we can upgrade. Uh, Imperial Road. Hmm. I think that's really worth it at the moment. Uh, Mountains of Morn. Do that. What should we do here? Raw material output up. 7,000 raw materials at the moment, so we can pump that up a bit more here. Green Azar basically has everything maxed. Wastes, you're fine. There's no real need to spend money there. Zona's cool. No, you're good as well. Yeah, let's put the order in at the Cash Cadrack. Ivory Road. Let's. Actually, before we pop that building, let's pop that building in and we'll upgrade that. That's all right for Ivory Road. Yeah, that's all right for Ivory Road. Uh, yeah, we'll drop that in on Pome. Nope, not going to worry about any of that. Path to the east, yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. Uh, you've got the raw materials going on. Oh, yeah, we're doing on that. Upgrade that, and that, and that, and that. And why not? That's Howling Waste Black Fortress and the Sentinels. Oh, yeah, doing all right there. Doing all right. All right, all right. Do I want to rush that actually? Just to give that a little, a little bit more strength while they're gathering shit around us here. Uh, now we'll even go for the next level. Cool, good. All right. Well, why I don't I don't get why it randomly does that. All right. So we've got one more turn there. Three on that. Then I have to finish up these other ones. Almost got that completed. Oh wait, what's that? That was able to give me. Additional flux, five control, more workload, cool. Should have a quick look here, make sure we keep all of our slave holdings in good stead. Good, good. Right, oh well, that's going to be the end of that turn and the end of the episode. So I've been Ash Ninja, and this has been uh, Astrogoth. And next episode, I don't know what we're going to be doing. Probably be striking maybe somewhere over here. Possibly over here. Astrogoth's army is looking pretty good at the moment, so this could be a good target. To take out some, like one of their almost full armies. And possibly take over this little section. And push them back for over here. Uh, lots of fighting still to go. Nah. But anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you later.